this particular video, we are going to show this particular flickering mask transition. I didn't have any other name, so I named it this way. So this is a very simple transition. All you need to do is mask it and some alternate deleting of frames. So before the video, let's declare the winner for the all preset pack giveaway which was 15k subscribers preset pack which i just announced around two weeks back so thank you so much to all of you who actually followed me on instagram and commented on my latest picture so in this particular video we're going to declare the winner so we had over 112 or 130 participants so thank you so much for participating once more so i'm going to just pick up a random comment from the random comment picker on instagram so this is the link i'm going to paste it on this site and then proceed and let's see who is the winner so congratulations so make sure to contact me on instagram so that i can give you the preset pants and moreover all of you please don't worry i'm going to make more such giveaways and you guys will have a definite chance of winning so thank you so much to all of you who participated and thank you so much for taking your time and going into Instagram and commenting on my latest picture. And just don't worry, I'm going to announce more such giveaways really soon. Thank you so much for participating once more. I'm going to make this effort for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Final Cut Pro, then skip to this portion. And if you have come for Premiere Pro, then skip to this portion. And let's just start it. So this is in Final Cut Pro, this is the first footage and this is the second footage. So just go to the first frame of the second footage and click on Shift plus H which will actually freeze some of the frames. We don't need it this long, so make it around 6 to 7 frames longer, just like this. So the first frame will be frozen for 6 to 7 frames. And then cut that portion, drag it above just like this. And then go to the effects panel, type in mask, drag the draw mask onto the clip and draw a rough mask around the edges just like this. Now one thing you need to make sure to make this transition happen is that in the second clip make sure whatever you are dividing, make sure it covers the entire screen just like in this case the person is covering the topmost frame and the bottom frame so that makes the cutting way more easier so make sure to do it that way otherwise this effect will not look good and then draw a rough mask around one side it can be on any of the sides but just draw a rough mask just like this what you need to do is you need to copy this clip and drag it above just like this and then the above layer in the mask panel click on invert mask so in this way you can cover the entire screen of the second clip so you have two clips basically one with masking on and another with masking inverted so now what you need to do is you need to cut the alternate frames of the bottom layer just like this and trim the above layer just like this and then delete the alternate layers or just hide the alternate layers now it is a bit too fast so I'm going to just copy the alternate layers a little bit more just like this So now I'm going to just delete the alternate frames of the above clip just like this and then just copy it once more because I feel it's a bit too fast. So drag it on this side and copy the above one just like this. And then as you can see after deleting of alternate frames of the first layer, I kept the first layer just like this in a stagnant position. So in this way we are creating an alternate flickering effect. So basically what you guys need to keep in mind is keep the bottom layer stagnant position for the last few frames and flicker for the first few frames and for the above layer trim the first few frames and then flicker the last few frames this is what you guys need to remember and if you guys don't remember this just watch this video once more and then press the like button of course and that is pretty much it this is how you create that flickering transition in a different way so now i'm going to show this effect for premiere pro as well so as you can see this is the first footage and this is the second footage now one thing you need to keep in mind for this particular effect is that for the second footage make sure whatever object you are using make sure that object covers the entire screen for example this person in this particular screen 
covers the topmost frame, topmost part of the frame as well as the bottom frame, which helps it to divide the frame into two different parts while we mask it out. So first what you guys need to do is to export the first frame of the second clip. So click on this export frame, click on JPG and then click on OK. Yes, choose the destination and click on OK. And then drag the exported frame to this clip, to this particular timeline. Trim all the unnecessary portions. Zoom it in. Go to the FS control panel. Go to mask. Make sure the feather is zero. Make sure it is zero. It is very important. And then draw a rough mask around that person in such a way that it divides the frame into two different halves. Make sure to take your time in doing this. So this is the first masking. As you can see, it looks like this. And then what you need to do is you need to copy this layer once more above it. And for the above layer, click on masking and click on invert. So that will make you get the entire frame. Now what you need to do is you need to trim the above layer into half just like this and then what you need to do is you need to go to the bottom layer and then cut alternate frames till the start of the above layer just like this and for the above layer as well start cutting the alternate frames just like this and now what you need to do is you need to delete the alternate frames of the bottom layer just like this and you need to delete the alternate frames of the topmost layer as well and that is pretty much it. Render this thing out and your effect is ready to be used. So that is pretty much it. That is how you do the flickering effect in a different way. I hope you guys like this particular tutorial. And if you guys like this particular tutorial, drop the like, comment down below. And I'll be back with a sample video in my next video. And with that being said, this is Pixel Sammy signing out. Peace out.